will no doubt continue tonight. Then tomorrow it's right back to school. And speaking of school, even the big kids had to hit the books today. First day of the UH fall semester got underway, meaning the Warrior football team will have to pour over more than just their playbooks. But that's the price to pay in order to be a student athlete. You got to practice early in the morning when people still sleeping. And then after you're all tired, you got to go straight to class. And then lifting and meetings and study hall. And our schedule's full. You know, everybody thinks it's easy, but it's not. It's back to school for the current UH Warrior football team. Fall camp has come to a close, and today, less than two weeks out from the season opener against Northern Colorado, it was time to put the student into student athlete as the Warriors headed to class for the first day of the fall semester. But these are football players, right? Jocks taking jock classes, right? Well, for D-lineman Francis Maka and Keala Watson, that couldn't be further from the truth. Well, name some of your classes. Uh, well, I'm taking three math courses right now. I'm going to be taking Calc 4, some other class, I think, the Fundamentals of Math, and then uh, what is it? Intro to Differential Equations. I'm thinking a lot of biological sciences, like botany, biology, zoology, because uh, uh, it's hard to schedule your classes because uh, sometimes they don't offer it. So uh, I think this semester I'm going to take 17 credits. I intended on going into math so it would be easier to tra transition into engineering. But to me, uh, Classes aren't difficult if you go, so I mean, just got to show up and then you'll learn if you, even if you're just sitting in there. It also gives us a break from practice, I mean, something else to look forward to in our day. But uh, it's good that everybody is just here to get an education first and then play football uh, on the side. Warriors kick off the 07 season September 1st against Northern Colorado at Aloha Stadium. And there's your look at sports. As far as the Ian Sample uh, story mm. is concerned, you know, I read this book this past yeah, weekend. Okay. And again, so it's published and available it is, it is, in stores. It's, it's out yeah. in stores, it's published. And, you know, I think it, there is a part of the book that's missing from this discussion. That is, I think it truly, if you read it cover to cover, it's overall a celebration of Warrior football, of UH football. Mm. Some of the things that were omitted from the book that he posted on his uh, personal MySpace blog. Uh, those were the things that a lot of people are pointing at and, and questioning, but uh, as far as what was included in the book itself, I think overall it is still something that Ian Sample wrote to celebrate the season that that team had, to celebrate the season that he shared with his teammates. That subtitle, on the field and off the record, <laughs> yeah. is sort of enticing. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. it is. I mean, there, there's some stuff from behind the scenes that, that does kind of pop your eyes open a little bit, but uh, mm. that's that's part of what makes it an interesting read. Well, I think you've just sent uh, sales. It'll be the number <laughs> yes, one book right. in Hawaii next week. That's uh, right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Kenan. You're welcome. 23rd ranked Warrior football team welcomed in a handful of players to the Manoa practice field this morning with school now in session. The Warrior training camp roster limit of 105 players has been expanded. An estimated 20 players in total are expected over the next few days. Countdown to kickoff now just 12 days away. Season opener set for September 1st against Northern Colorado. 50 years worth of UH football history in one room is a way to describe the latest fundraiser for June Jones Foundation. Tonight, 16 of the Warriors signal callers, past, present, and future, were in attendance. It was the first annual Warrior Quarterbacks for Charity. Nick Rolovich there and greeting people at the door. What a good sport. Another QB of Jones era was Dan Robinson, the Miracle Man of 1999. Sean Withy Allen, Jason Wielden, and current Heisman candidate Cole Brennan also in attendance. With all of them in one place a hot item up for bid were their helmets signed by all the QBs the event raised an estimated two hundred thousand dollars in well again UH football season opener now just a week from Saturday and one guy who definitely cannot wait to get things rolling is the QB Colt Brennan today the senior was one of 35 quarterbacks named to the Davy O'Brien watch list last season Brennan was a finalist for the award which is presented every year to the nation's top quarterback but how you doing everybody let's talk sports T minus 10 days and counting until the UH Warrior football team kicks off the 2007 season against Northern Colorado with school starting this week Hawaii has now hit its normal morning practice routine all the players can do now is work and wait it's a big time. I mean, you see a lot of guys picking up the pace now that uh, camp's over. I mean, we've got a lot more time to go over plays and uh, critique more of the small stuff, so it's going to be exciting. You know, there's a sense of urgency now. You know, we only got two weeks now, and um, a week from this Saturday, we strap it up. So we just really got to make sure that we fine-tune everything and get the team running on all cylinders so we're ready for a week from Saturday. I think offensive defense, we have pretty much everything in we're going to do, so now it's just refining and 
And the bottom line is, you know, the things you have to do to win games is you can't have bad snaps, you can't fumble the ball, you can't throw picks, you got to turn the ball, get the turnovers on defense. Those are the things that win for you. And of course, season opener is November, uh, September 1st at Aloha Stadium, kickoff at 6.05. Big week. Last night was the first ever celebration of Warrior quarterbacks, a banquet for UH signal callers dating back over 60 years. Among the bunch was this guy, 85-year-old Munkin Wong, who was a starter as a sophomore back in 1941, but never received his varsity letter. I was kind of surprised. I didn't know it was going to be such a big deal. This means a lot to me. Until last night, that is, upon hearing Wong's story, head coach June Jones took the proper steps to get him his letter. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Moon Kin Wong and his teammates never got their varsity letters because after Japan bombed Pearl Harbor in 1941, UH dropped football for the next four seasons. Now, this is what football looked like 66 years ago. Fighting Deans, as they were known, were 8-1 and one before the war broke up. But on December 7th, most of them enlisted. It was a wild night because the cops were going crazy. They were cruising around, shooting out lights in homes. We could see the smoke coming out of Pearl Harbor. And we could see the, a plane dropping by and, you know, silvery things coming down, see? So we actually saw the drop, bombs uh, dropping on Pearl Harbor. Wong spent five years in the military, spent the next six decades running the family business, Wong's drapery. Now, he says he goes to work every morning. He's 85 years old. Now, some of his nephews will take over the family business. Over the last 60 years, the QB in 41 has also been a UH football season ticket holder. Until two years ago when uh, walking became difficult for me and my wife, then we decided to subscribe to this TV thing. See. In fact, I just gave up my season ticket last year. Now, Wong says he met Colt Brennan last night, loved him, but his favorite UH quarterback of all time, Michael Carter, <laughs> whom he also met last night, liked him because he says, it was tough. It's 10 days till the Warriors kick off the season against Northern Colorado. Coach June Jones says he's clear on his starting lineup. What's receiving more of his attention this week is special teams. Well, you, you can never really uh, simulate that part of it until the game, you know, because nobody goes full speed on a kick cover. But, you know, we got a couple of them live on Saturday. First time we've done that because we have more bodies than we've had. So. This past weekend, Jones had the Warriors put those coverages in motion at the Aloha Stadium. Cole Brennan looks to be in good hands. Three of Hawaii's six returning starters on offense are receivers. Ryan Grace Mullen and Devon Best say they trust in what they know. Last year, they combined for 2,000 plus yards receiving and 27 touchdowns. Just little things, uh, maybe certain plays, you know, just, you know, crisp it up a little bit. But um, pretty much, you know, all my package is pretty much in, you know, like I know what I got to do, you know. We, we can only beat ourselves right now, you know. If we don't prepare to stay mentally focused and mentally healthy with it, you know, every, anything, anything can happen, anything can go wrong. For a 